Hey, sneaking us back again tonight. Right, here's one I didn't think I'd ever see again. DSL, damn small Linux. It's now in a 411 release candidate. Yeah, it's brought back from the dead, back from the dead. Four or five years ago, it must have been four or five years ago, the last time I looked at it real properly when it was in development. And now it's been brought back, really super duper. So as you can see, some of it's a bit, been a bit updated, so that's okay. We still get a terminal, we get a beaver, we get a DSL panel, I'll quickly do one if you. So as you can see, tiny core like isn't it that's because tiny core has got a lot to do with it so but i'm not going to go too much into it at the moment i don't know the politics of it so i'm not going to go into it otherwise i'll get told off okay dialo is your standard browser like it'd be no use in most day-to-day -day uses but remember this is just for playing with at the moment it's going to be a portable distro so john andrews has brought it back by the way before i tell you E M E L F M is your file manager. Yeah, it's going back in the day. That was back in the day. You do get Firefox, but it's a really, really old one. Now some of these are going to need to be updated. This is Bon Echo, by the way. So go to about Bon Echo. As you can see, 2006. Okay, so it's six years old. So I wouldn't want to use it as my main distro, but hey, it's good for fun at the moment. And it's good that he's brought it back. Because you can have a good play with it. It's about around about a 50 megabyte download. It'll be okay for you. So if I go to my DSL, here we are. And there's where you can install stuff. Very like Tiny Core. And Tiny Core is very like DSL. There's lots of reasons for this, but I'm not going to tell you about them. And you can just go through your stuff here. Blah, 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 blah. It's a really short video, by the way, because I want to see the real one come out in the, in the real world. You only get Open Office, there's no LibreOffice. So lots and lots of stuff will need to be updated for this, okay? But I've downloaded some stuff for you to see. Abbey Word is one of them. See how quick that was? It's super fast. It do doesn't recognize my cores, by the way. It only recognizes one core, so that's a bit of a bummer. Go to about Abbey Word. It's 2.0.1. Whoa, that's way old, isn't it? Way, way, way old. But it does what it says on the tin. And my printer works. Yeah, so that's okay. Gimpy is 1.2. Yeah, back in the day. But see how quick and fast it is. Now, if you want to have a play with a distro and you don't mind downloading 50 megabytes of stuff, you're going to like this. The text editor for it, or to do your stuff, is TED. Okay, TED. So if I go to new, really old school. If I go to format, yeah, sorry, if I go to file and save as, you don't get much stuff to save it as. RTF will be recognized by most distros, so that's one to keep it as real, isn't it? So that's okay. As I said, I've already downloaded DSL. So, Abbey Word, what am I talking about? And I've got MT Paint here as well. Look, there we go. We'll bring it over. That's what it says on the tin. Really, really quick. Really, really fast. I wouldn't say it's super secure, but as all the programs are so old. Okay. Yeah, really, really old. Get a slice for your mail. No genomeric. You get a SIAG. So I put it up for all your stuff that you want to do here. So I'll go to help. And we go to about SIAG. There you go for doing all your spreadsheets. Does what it says on the tin. I didn't ever think I'd see this again, but obviously some people got some interest in it, so there it's gonna go. If I go down to the menu down at the bottom here, you've got apps, so all your apps are there. So you've got Beaver, Nano, Notepad, and Vim. Vim is there, yes. Graphics, you only get MT Paint, Exum, and Exum Image Viewer. Office, as I said before, you get TED and SIAG, you get your PDF viewer, MS Word Viewer. So if you just want to view the document, ideal. So we're all going back in the day. We're going back to five, six, seven, eight years ago when all this stuff was real in life, you know. Under net, you get all your browsers. You've got Firefox, Dialo, and Netric. Really basic. You get Slife, as I said before. A Samba client, remote desktop viewer. That's fine. VNC viewer, FTP, and Telenet. Is that still going? I wasn't sure. And tools. Boot local, file tools, stuff like that. A frugal install, yes, you can install it. It's hunkily dory to USB and a pen drive or a floppy, even. It's just a boot of floppy, so you all the stuff there. Really, really nice. Or remaster it. Yeah, really easy to do. You get a few games, but they're all basic games you can see. So I've opened up Golf for you. Yeah, they're all these sort of tax games. Nice. Let's go back here again. Go to games again. What else we get? Oh, slide puzzle. What's that? Load an image. Well, should we choose? No, I don't know. I've got no images, so I can't load them. That's a bummer, isn't it? But yeah, you could do a slide puzzle if you really wanted to. So under setup, add users, set up time and date, you swap file, net setup, but it already works out of the box for Ethernet, so that's good. Accessor is your baby here. You can get some other stuff, but hey, that'll all come in time, I think, if it keeps up to date. Your control panel here. 
There we go, right, here we go. DSL control panel, where do I start? Cron, we've got their DHCP client, which runs as standard Monkey Web Beta FTPs here. Get some backgrounds, where well, you don't actually have to get them yourself. You can select mirrors, your system stats, I'm gonna open it up for you. There's my system going down, it tells you what's going on. See, tiny core, but old school, you know what I'm saying? Xvesa, because I'm using Xvesa. I'm using that resolution here, so that's cool. NDS wrapper for your wireless drivers and stuff like that. A WAN LAN configuration when you want to sort it out. A net card config because it doesn't recognize all cards. Okay. And if you're really old school and you've got dial up, you can do it from here. Set up your printer here and your date and time and back up and restore, of course. Now, I hope this keeps up because it was nice to see it around because it was really, really quick. So, we really need all these programs to be updated. If I go to my DSL again, and we go down here, the database was last updated in 2008. So that's a long, 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 long time ago, four, four and a half years ago. It needs to be done. But on the whole, it's nice to see it back. Go and get the download and give it a use. I'm not going to rate it because it's a release candidate, and it's only just started again. Nice. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.